Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So of all the families that God made, the white people, the Chinese people, the Arab people, God said, you only have I known. Who was he talking to again? The Israelites. And this is why they took your history from you. This is why they took everything from you. Nobody's teaching you the Israelites in your schools. Nobody's teaching you the Israelites in your churches. Because everybody knows that once we find out who we are, that's when things are going to change. We're at the bottom right now. Every other nation can come to America, get along, and start a business in your neighborhood. Why can't we do it? Because every other nation is in cahoots with us being at the bottom. Right. So while you're worried about the other nation, you need to worry about yourself and your people, sis. Because Christ told us something about repenting. But all of those that don't repent, that, that hear that they sin and, and don't change, watch what the promise is. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Right. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So the fact that you say you will stop wearing pants, that's good. So that's showing that you will repent and stop wearing pants. Right. I'm going to show you something else that you got to make sure you do as you transition into dresses. Give me 1 Timothy 2 and 9 so you can understand that. All we're doing is teaching our people order. Our people haven't had order in forever. That's why you got like people like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B um, being role models to our daughters when, no, that's a horrible example of what a, a young lady should be. They're teaching how to be docs. Is that okay? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What, what would happen if you, if, if you got the role model teaching how to be a doc? What's, what would be the outcome of that? Oh, uh, the, the, the Bible actually says that, but watch this. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women, that who? That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Is that what Carter B. them teach? Do they teach the women to wear clothes that don't show their body? No, the Bible says women should wear modest apparel. Right. What is, you know what the word modest means? Not showing, not gathering any sexual attention. So what you wear should not make a man look at you sexually. You should wear something that don't hug and curve on your, go around your curves like that. Because God is telling you how to get a husband. When you wear that, that man gonna only see what, he gonna only want what he see. And when he get what he wanted, do you think he gonna stick around? That's why we leading in single parent households. That's why we leading in the abortion clinic. Cause God gave us simple laws and we went against them. So what we're doing is teaching our people what well, does said, Lord, give me that in Leviticus. Well, talking about all this should be no I'm gonna show you since what you said is actually biblical. You, know, you got whore mongers as role models, the whole land gonna turn to whore. And that's what's happening by putting people like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, teaching our son, teaching our children by their examples. That's why you got a bunch of thoughts growing up right now. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Really? Let's the land fall to whore All right, let me show you another law that you may be breaking that you probably ain't even aware of. Who hair grows the color that you dyed your hair? Do your hair grow natural like that? I know it though. Who hair grows that color? Wait. Proverbs 3 and 31. Wait. Uh. You don't even want to say it. See, it's so bad you don't even want to say it. Because I know you know it. Remy. Who hair grows that color naturally? Without no dye or anything? Like the brown, certain, I mean, all the people have hair that grow. Do yours grow that way? Mine grow that way. But who hair grows that way? Because most of our people dye it golden, somewhat of a golden color, right? Who hair grows that color? See, you still don't want to say it. Because, like, I feel like it's not just your hair grows. So, so it's not just who? So why did you want to say that name? Because I know that's what you're Okay, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, watch this, it's watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Right. And be thou not the oppressor. I'm glad you said it's not just Europeans. Do you know who all aided to your oppression? Do you think we only went through slavery in, 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 um, in, in, in Europe? In America? I'm going to show you something, sis. What is slave trade time? No, I want the boat. Yeah, show the boat. Yeah. Okay. Look at this, sis. 
This is showing you where the transatlantic slave trade went. We went everywhere. Everybody participated in our slavery. The Asians, the Arabs, everybody participated in our slavery. So no, it's not just the Europeans, but it's everybody but your people. Right. You understand? So what we're doing is showing you what the Bible says, all right? So let's read that one more time. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, right. and choose none of his ways. Choose a few of his ways. And choose none of his ways. Wait. How many of the ways of the other people should we be following? None. Right. So let's see what the Bible says about that color. Give me that color. Wait. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Right. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Remember, God just called this a plague. He said, if it's a yellow thin hair, who hair grows yellow and thin? You don't want to say it again, huh? Who? The bloods. Okay, ring. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. What did God call him? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Right. It is a dry scowl, even a leprosy right. upon the head or beard. Watch this, sis. And if the priest look on the plague of the scowl. How you doing, sis? Come over here, show me where you find yourself on the sign. Right. And if the priest look on the plague of the scowl, and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin, right. and that there is no black hair There is no what? and that there is no black hair in it. I'm just gonna assume your hair naturally goes black, right? That's taking pride in your hands. Thank God you don't have a burn. All praise to the Father. But you, you, you're taking pride in, in Christ made us in his image. How you doing, sis? Where you find yourself over here? Levi, what do you know about your people? Who is this right here? Jesus Christ, who is that, sis? Who? The beast. No. Why, why is she calling the beast? Huh? But why? why? Why do we call him the beast? Well, where did we get that image from? Church. The, the church is... The white people fought it on the churches and the church is fed to us. So, let's see what the Bible says about Christ. Do you know Christ is described in the Bible? What he just, how he described it. Do you know Christ was described in the Bible says? We'll read it, we'll read it. Give it to me. Okay. Go ahead. No, he said if, if the hair is not deeper than the skin, he's talking about how hot is it to the root. He was talking about the color oh, to the root. They, they, they were claiming if it was a, 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 a leprosy. So that's what it was talking about. But it said yellow. Yeah, the hair come out. If the hair that comes out was yellow. Then that's okay. Yeah, no, no, that's not okay. It's called a leprosy. Oh. Read it again, read it again. It's okay. I want you to see it. It's talking about the hair. If the hair has a color in it when it comes, that's how they determine if you had a leprosy. It's not in, in America. It's seen as glorious to have blonde hair, and the Bible is called unclean. But people are born like that's what I'm saying. What about people born? People were born unclean. That's right. Watch this. <laughs> Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Hey, I, I know what the It is a dry scowl, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. And if the priest look on the plague of the scowl, and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it. There is no what? No black hair in it. Then the priest shall shut up him that had the plague of the scowl seven days. So the Bible tells you your natural hair was black. Question, I know why you said that now. Because you don't know that the whole Bible was written to your people. Did y'all know that? Yeah, the, the whole Bible was written only to the Israelites. So you don't have to worry about who else had grows blonde and who else had don't. Watch this, I'm gonna prove it to you. Give me that on second Ezra first. I'm gonna show you a couple of scriptures to prove it. See, this is why they took your history from you. Because God never chose them. He only chose us. So they took your history and added themselves in your book. Why do you think they had to? If Jesus Christ was purple and he was saving everybody, it wouldn't matter what color he was. Why did they have to change him to a white man? Because they were not added in our book. Watch this. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, 
Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam was the first person on earth, right? We agree to that? Okay, so he's talking about Adam right here. He made Adam Lord of all the creatures, read. Of him come we all. Everybody came of Adam, right? We agree? Okay. And the people also. Uh oh. And there's a group of people of the people that came of Adam. Whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Did y'all see that separation? He said, everybody come from Adam and the people that you chose. So there's a chosen people God had. Watch this. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Right. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. The world was made for our sakes. That's why, think about this. When you think about, why don't we need no suntan lotion and everybody else got to put on suntan when they get on the sun? Everything was made for us. The earth helps us, the sun helps us, it gives us energy, read. As for the other people, as for everybody outside of his chosen people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Oh, that's not in the Bible. The Bible just said that. Okay, but let's go and prove it somewhere else in the Bible. So what we're doing is we're showing you everything you've been taught since is a lie. You've been taught white supremacy. That's basically what you've been taught. Give me um, um Amos chapter 3 verse 1. I'm going to show you. Well, the Bible said it clear as day. God only dealt with the Israelites. That's why we're showing you. The first thing we showed you was you are an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, from the tribe of Judah, right? Okay. It's, it's prophesied that Jew, all of us are going to have our name taken from us. That's in the Bible. Watch this. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you. Okay, who is talking right here? The Lord. I'm just trying to make sure y'all still. You heard that, right? Read it again. Hear this word that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel. So who is the Lord talking to? I want to hear it, sis. Okay, all praise. God is talking to the children of Israel. Listen to what God says to the children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Say what? You only Say what? You only one more time. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh oh, what did God just say? So of all the families that God made, the white people, the Chinese people, the Arab people, God said, You only have I known. Who was he talking to again? The Israelites. Right. And this is why they took your history from you. This is why they took everything from you and nobody's teaching you the Israelites in your schools. Nobody's teaching you the Israelites in your churches. Because everybody knows that once we find out who we are, that's when things are going to change. Right. We're at the bottom right now. Every other nation can come to America, get a loan, and start a business in your neighborhood. Why can't we do it? Because every other nation is in cahoots with us being at the bottom. Right. So while you the word we need to worry about we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.